This is the fly spot. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm getting a polish. Cool. And I'm Tim Hildyard. <laughs> See? Easy! And we're here to show you a hack that's weird, unusual, and the occasional useful one too. Sometimes they work out really well, sometimes not so much. But either way, it's a fun way to learn about the technology that surrounds us every day. This is Funny Hacks. Definitely makes the logo look good. Shut up! <laughs> Almost a completely pointless hack, but it's so cool. <laughs> I don't. Have we ever fl swatted a fly with these? Yes. Um. So the whole reason I made this was because uh, for Yanni and Elizabeth, they were getting married. Ah. Yeah. And so um, on the uh, list of things they wanted was a fly swat. There was nothing else that p appealed to me to give them. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can do better than a fly swat. And so what I did is I uh, made the I made a fly swat attachment for a drill, and. Um, I also gave them a plain fly swat as well, so then uh, at the minimum, at the minimum, they get what they originally asked for, but also they can have a bit of fun as well. That's so right. um, anyway, one time when I was there, and uh, we, there were a few other people there as well, um, he got it out, and we started playing around with it, and it took us about <laughs> <laughs> there was one one fly, and I think it took us about fifteen minutes to get it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait till it's on a wall and just go. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically the idea. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got the drill that I gave him for that it was a fair bit more powerful than this, but uh, uh, so that actually leads us straight on to what can go wrong with this. Okie dokie. Well, first thing is that you'll have flies everywhere lining up for malpractice suits. Not malpractice yes. suits, what's that other one? Malicious intent. That was the one? Yep. 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 Um, you can also stuff the bearings of the... Um, of the, of the motor that drives the drill. Um, when you do that, um, your drill's fairly stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, other, the other issue was, what is your axle? Um, and I decided to make the, wa the waxle um, one of the weak points. Um, so I've used a pencil here, so if anything goes wrong, um, if, if energy has to be dissipated suddenly, then it's going to be in the pencil, which is very readily accessible. Yep. Although maybe in 20 years they might be hard to get. Pencils? Yeah. I suppose they're being led down the wrong path. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoops. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. <laughs> okay. Alright, so in the technical episode, um, I talk about how to um, attach the axle. Um, and I also talk about this particular contraption here, which is where uh, I played around with the idea of a counterweight and I talk about what went right and what went wrong. Because realistically, when you do have something this wide hanging off, hanging off a, um, a uh, uh, what's that word, so um, size. <laughs> Did you fart? No, I'm, <laughs> so I've just heard you joke. <laughs> no, it's, um, shit, shit, shit. Um, ah. Centrifugal, okay, right. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yep. When you do have something this large coming off a uh, uh, single centrifugal force here, it tends to wobble quite a lot. So a counterweight will actually produce the uh, produce an opposite effect, so it should balance out and make it a little smoother. Now, an interesting thing, which um, I probably knew but didn't think about until I did this, was that uh, your counterweight, you make a certain weight, mm. right? But the weight that you make it is uh, is not just a matter of making it uh, even to the rest of like it's not a matter of making it even to whatever's on the other side of the axle. You actually have to uh, Factor take in the wind drag as well. Uh, wind drag um, a little bit, but mostly the speed. Yeah, because the faster you go, the more that it's going to pull on there. But with the weight being distributed differently, you're going to get different amounts of pull depending on how fast it's That's going. That's true. So would a normal counterweight at least help a little bit? Oh, or? yes. Okay, sure. Yes. Right. Yes, no, definitely. Um, so, no, it's, if you have a look, um, you know all the old machinery that you see uh, at the shows. Uh, like, like, they have those things where they go... Um, what, the steam engines? Yeah, well, no, 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 traction engines. engines, traction engines. No, well, no, no, the traction engines, but also the old uh, petrol engines and that type of stuff do that as well. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Um, sure. Yeah, it's quite interesting watching them work. But anyway, um, they have a really interesting throttle, which um, yeah, uh, just in that you um, uh, is that you see them going when they're under load, they're going, but then when they're not under load. 
they're just like going they're putting in the same amount of fuel I think um, <laughs> but but they're they're just like doing a, a bang every few uh, bang. few things so you'll just you'll just do a bang and then it'll just bang. go pop 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 pop, pop okay. as it just goes back to the well, because one cylinder is stronger than the other uh, often they're one cylinder. Oh, well, there you go. Um, okay. But it's it's more that they are. Um, you have these two balls which come out as it. Uh, I can see it in my fingers. <laughs> um, you have these two balls. Fly, sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you have these two balls there, which um, are basically your throttle, and so um, the engine has a particular speed which it needs to work at. Sure. Um, <laughs> you don't know like anything about engines. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when the balls get down to a certain down below a certain amount, then it's time to put in more fuel and make it go again. I'm oh, so, sorry, man. I can't keep a straight face when you're talking okay. about balls like okay, that. Okay, well, um, so, <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah, so the, these these balls. So the faster faster the engine's turning, sure. the more these balls go out. Okay. okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So when the balls are up here, then the is that a rotary engine? Oh, not as far as I'm aware. Okay. I think it could be on any type of engine. It's basically just a throttle control. Oh, sure. So um, I think what you you may be able to set whatever height means what, but basically the higher it goes, the more the engine can relax. And so when it gets down to a certain point, it's, it's, time, to, it's time to make it fire again. And sure. so that's why when it's under load, those it'll be going slightly slower, so the balls will be coming down. Yeah. Yeah. And so therefore, when it gets to a certain point, it will make it bang again. And so that's why that here sense. instead of um, Instead of it going pop, turn, 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 pop, turn, 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 which is what you get when it's idling, you get pop, 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 and it's it's really interesting to watch. But the whole reason I brought all of this up, pop, 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 the whole reason I brought all of this up was that the counterweight that you get, you you see the counterweights very frequently used on those. Sure. And. Those engines are designed to run at a very specific. <laughs> I believe those engines are designed to run at a very specific speed, which is why they can uh, get away with doing that. But even even still, it is beneficial for it to be there. Oh, good, cool. I think we've said well enough uh, by now. Yeah. So let's. Um, if if you've got anything that you've done similar, um, I'm, I'm fly s- swap related. There has been some wacky things on YouTube, so there must be some awesome stuff for you to stick in here in the video responses. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'm not really sure what you'd like to know, but if you've got questions, uh, put them in the comments. Yeah, uh, otherwise... Um... <laughs> <laughs> now that is a finishing place. <laughs>